Today I want to real quick uh, talk to you about database views. So just set up one of these for a customer and thought I'd make a good uh, tips and trick video. So database views are basically uh, the way in which you can join tables in ServiceNow if you want to do reports or that sort of thing against these. So here I set up this uh, uh, database view a lot like we did for this customer. So this customer wanted to see a uh, list of uh, outstanding approvals or wanted to report on the approvals, uh, but he wanted to be able to see both the request number and the RIDMs. So now they're doing approvals on their request level, not on the RIDM level. So it's going to take a join to do that. So here we set up, um, just gave it a name. I didn't do much else here. And then we add in tables. So we're joining uh, a rec item, so requested items, requests, and uh, the approval table. So we set up our rec item, uh, and we gave it a prefix of rhythm. Then we joined it to the request, uh, where the request sys ID is the, in the request field in the rhythm. So you see the format here, this variable prefix you put in there, and then you go underscore, then the field. Uh, and then the variable prefix here means the request field on the rhythm table. All right. Once we've joined that, we're going to join in the approval table, right? I gave it a prefix, and we're joining that on the sysapproval field to the request field on the rhythm, right? Now, one thing about these, if you want, you can uh, specify the individual fields that you're going to get from that table. Uh, if you don't specify anything, you kind of get them all. Right, so here we can try it, right, and it shows I've got uh, only one request out there, and it's uh, got two rhythms associated with it, and they're both waiting on Eric to approve. Uh, and if I want, I have access to all of the fields from all of those tables. Uh, so here you see we're looking at the rep number. Notice that prefix there. The rhythm number, uh, the, the state of the approver, approval, who the approver is, and who it was requested for. So database views, very powerful, very standard, and they're used to join tables together. And the syntax for joining is, is this prefix underscore the field you want to join, and you you, know, you have options to hold a whole bunch of different moderate, uh, moderators there. So sky's the limit. You can also do a left join. So a left join is if you want to include all of the things that didn't match the where clause as well. So things that are outside, sometimes known as an outside join. Uh, you can do that as well.